<laughs> Let's look at some Stargate photos. Sure. Yeah, that says Vern Alberts. Uh, I don't recall what episode. That may have been Ergo, which is one of my favorite episodes, uh, mainly because I got the chance to work with uh, Dom DeLuise. I didn't. Mm. I, I don't think I had much to say in that episode. I never did on on, on Stargate, but uh, uh, Dom was just such a sweet, sweet man, and we had some great conversations. He had an interest in Japanese, so he had lots of talks about that. But yeah, uh, that's that's Vern Alberts. I can't uh, imagine what it was like for for Peter to have his dad on set playing, you know, the the, the titular role of that episode. Um, yeah, that had to have been just really, really uh, a milestone for him. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I could I could see it every day on, in, in Peter's demeanor, and 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 Dom also was delighted to be there. And, and, and as I said, just a really really sweet person to to be around to work with. So that's a that's a big highlight for me. Yeah, there he is again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this was uh, I believe this was double double Jeopardy. Jeopardy. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so of course Richard on the right, Dan Shea in the middle, yep. and then um, yeah. So yeah, in that episode, I ended up wearing a lot of dots on my face. I'll have um, one of those. Yeah, and so they were doing some CGI stuff where. Uh, they had Richard playing against himself. Yep. Um, so when it was actually shot, uh, it was me, but um, you know, through the magic of, of CGI, et cetera. And this is, we're talking about two, yeah, there we are. Um, yeah, through, 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 through the magic that was being rendered there, they were able to, in the finished product, put Richard where where I am. So you would see t him wrestling with himself. In the scene. It seemed... But it was, it was, Yes, but it was it was a really great experience for me because there was dialogue there that uh, was going on between the two Richards, and so I had to actually deliver that dialogue in the scene um, to Richard, and that was one of the great things that I one of the things I loved about working on Stargate was that as a stand-in mm. and even as a photo double, I would frequently get the opportunity to to do off-camera lines for other actors and. It's something that doesn't happen very much anymore. And part of it is union rules. I mean, it was a little looser back then. And so uh, it was just a great training experience for me uh, to be kind of put on the spot a little bit. And, and of course, occasionally I got paid for, for those efforts because if they were dressing me up and catching a big piece of me as my back was to the camera, but I was delivering lines to one of the guest actors, then yeah. often they, would, they would pay me as an actor, which was fabulous. Absolutely. This was uh, Michael Shanks's outing as director. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't remember that, but yes, that, I think you're right. Yeah. 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 That's his show. So that was in uh, well, there's... season four. End of season yes. four. Yeah. There's yeah. Dom. That's just a, yeah. That's just a fabulous photograph. I have it, I think, glued inside a, a cookbook that Dom had put out um, <laughs> along with his autograph. Yeah. Ah. He, yeah. Great guy. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's, uh, I believe at that point, Richard was a general, perhaps. I can't remember. I've, is that, I've seen colonels. Um, I think if I'm right about this, this is uh, uh, Between Two Fires in season five when they're just getting back from Tolana. So because this is the outfit that he wore after Omak's funeral. Oh, okay. So still a colonel at that point. Yes. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Is it, Who is this down here? Uh, that is um, uh, Mr. Menard. Oh, Jim Menard. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. Very good. So he was probably DOPing at that point. Yeah, yes. director of photography. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and of course there's Peter. Ah. Who I've run into occasionally um, in the last few years uh, for different reasons. I, I had the opportunity to to be Amanda Tapping's dead husband. <laughs> 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 on, on sanctuary. So, Bill, how would you like to be Amanda's dead husband? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. It was it was pretty funny because I was lying on the floor. I remember, it, I believe it was at the same Norco studio that we had used on on Stargate, and uh, uh, so I'm lying on the floor. The camera's on my face, and I'm supposed to be dead. I've got major scars along the side of my neck uh, where some monster has clawed me to death, and. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and Peter's directing, and he's giving me grief because he can he can see a little flicker under my eyelids. Plus, he can see the vein in my forehead throbbing. Yeah, exactly. Bill, Bill, 
I want you to stop that vein. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. It's autonomic, yeah. sir. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. This is uh, this, never mind. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> this is one of my favorite human beings. Period. Yes, right there. So yeah, 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 absolutely. It's, yeah, it's very important to me. Just a great guy. Yeah, and a Vancouver resident still, I believe. Yes, yeah. he is. Yeah. So this is one of um, my favorite sequences uh, from season one, and I always wanted to know how this was achieved. And here you've given me a photo, and this is really cool. So what are you doing? So I'm, uh, my hand is sticking up through that table, uh, and oh, sorry, yeah, my hand is. It's your knuckle. Uh, yeah, it's your it's your hand, it's, and then the my arm whole hand is, is yeah. Yeah, and the wristwatch is. I, I don't want to you know divulge all the magic here, but the wristwatch is hiding the joint the between my hand and the prosthesis they were using. So Richard has like a box cutter or a surgical knife of some kind, and he's. He's slicing open his forehand to reveal, I believe, a bunch of uh, mechanics mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sort of bio, bio uh, mechanical stuff, right? So, um, yeah, it was, it was a fairly um, interesting cheat. I mean, uh, we've got Richard there wielding the knife. We've got my hand sticking through there, twitching and doing whatever. And then there's the prosthetic that was created for the scene that's actually being sliced open. So, uh, Were you yeah. controlling the the servos that were moving inside of the arm as well, or was that all done? No, that was all done remotely. I wow. can't remember how I did that, but uh, the only thing I controlled there was my finger movement. <laughs> so right. yeah, make it look- There's a little bit of, yeah, yeah. It's amazing the sleight of hand that is, that is is done in hollywood and in projects like this when you just you know put your mind to it we can you can pull it off 50 different ways um yeah, but yeah that's wild so thank you for that this is this is this is really cool stuff yeah I'm on the way. Uh, that's... this is the other guy season six okay yeah that was uh at our desert planet location which was uh just south of vancouver actually it's a a place called Lulu Island um, in Richmond. The suburb's called Richmond. And uh, yeah, there's actually some sand dunes there. Don't know if they still exist. No, but, uh, they've, uh, my understanding was they were they were reduced season over season until basically they were a postage stamp. And yeah. there was only so much you could do with it. But I was curious as to, so Lulu Island was the location. Okay. Yes, that's right. And it's, it's more commonly, I mean, a lot of people don't know the name Lulu Island, but that's what it's officially called. But it's part of the... The city of Richmond, which is where the airport is for Vancouver and okay. just directly south. So that that sand dune is where my dad used to drive with our little Volkswagen Beetle back when I was about six years old to gather sand for our sandbox in our <laughs> at our home in South Vancouver. So <laughs> my, my memories of that sand dune go way back. <laughs> uh -huh. The Warrior, season five. Yes. Man, uh, what you I, look <laughs> like him. That is that that well, you, you know, sell that man. Well, you know, with the with the hat and the glasses and everything else, and and the wardrobe. That's Bev Fix, by the way, over my, behind there in the background. Yes, okay. um, and then I don't recall who that is with the cell phone. Uh, it's a Jaffa, <laughs> so it's an extra. Yeah, it, it, it's, yeah, it's either a performer or, or, or a background performer. Probably a background performer, but I think it's pretty funny that he's got a, a cell phone in his hand. <laughs> Reminds me of the time I was in Rome where I saw these gladiators who you know, posed for tourists and they were taking a coffee break and they had a cigarette and cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about as strange as when I saw Captain Kirk at Comic-Con with a cell phone on his ear and I had to get a picture of him because I was like, that's your fault that that exists. Right. <laughs> Thanks for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. You can find the full live stream shows on our YouTube channel or visit dialthegate.com for the complete schedule. See you on the other side. <laughs>